Hi guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. and I just got ready and I'm starving already for lunch because I didn't have eggs for breakfast like I usually have my third trimester because it's the only thing that fills me up. So I'm probably gonna have lunch early, which I know is weird. Well, it's not weird if you're pregnant, but yeah, Doug's gonna come home for lunch and probably have leftover pasta. So I'm gonna have to eat without him because I cannot wait. A lot of you guys were telling me that the reason my onion rings are so chunky is because I'm cutting my onion the wrong way. Learn something new every day. And a lot of you guys were saying, you should just get um, white onions, they're better than red. I don't know why, but I was raised on red onions like in my sandwiches, so that's just what I'm used to. Anyways, I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat this, but Doug's mom sent us home with all of these chips, and Doug ate all the good chips, so now we're just left with crappy nacho cheese Doritos. Doug was like, you should ask your subscribers if they like um, the nacho cheese flavor, because Doug and I don't like it. So let me know if you like the nacho cheese flavor. It's not my favorite one, but I prefer Cool Ranch. And I'm just gonna have Lay's. Usually we don't eat chips, but whatever. If we were given them, I'm gonna eat them. So yeah, gonna go eat my lunch probably over here and answer some more emails because they've just been piling up and I did not do enough work yesterday and probably film some videos. Look who's home for lunch. Eating his favorite pasta dish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doug's client brought him the best package ever for Christmas. Woo! Let's open it up. Oh. What? I want to see what it is. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm guessing there's cocoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet Ghirardelli's hot chocolate's like real good. Oh, yeah. Dark chocolate, 60%. Is it cacao or cocoa? I'm gonna say cocoa. Cocoa. <laughs> Dark, uh, Doug won't like this one. <laughs> Dark and caramel squares. Yeah, not about the caramel. Doug's other worst nightmare, <laughs> sea salt and caramel. I'll be eating this. <laughs> and I don't wanna open this up again, but it's probably something good. This is how much of fatties we are. I'm already eating these cookies. What is it? Little popcorn chocolate. Ooh. Chocolate caramel popcorn. Mm. So I'm always getting questions from you guys about what lights I use, what camera I use, and all that kind of stuff. So if you're a YouTuber or if you're just interested, I thought I would show you guys how I set up um, my videos, like the regular sit down videos when I have proper lighting and stuff. So I thought I would film in front of the Christmas tree for the next few couple videos. So first I start out with my background. So I make sure everything's dark so I'm not really backlit. So I close the curtains and everything and the blinds and I just sit on this little cube that I stole from my sorority house years ago. And I've been meaning to get it reupholstered but I have yet to do that. So yeah, basically first I sit at my background and then my camera. I film all my videos, my sit down videos on the Canon 6D and I have a 24 to a 105 millimeter lens which I like because I can use it for photos and also video. My camera or lens doesn't autofocus so I basically have to hook it up to my computer and manually focus myself which is annoying but you get used to it. I really don't like the cameras or lenses that autofocus your videos because they make a sound in the background and also I just don't think that they're as good for pictures. So this bad boy was a pretty penny I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was expensive and in my opinion it was a hundred 
million percent worth the price. The lens is also expensive. I think it might be more or as much as the camera, um, but I knew that I would get my return on investment with it, which I have tenfold. So yeah, I would recommend this camera if you're looking for something that's really good on video and um, pictures, and the lens is really good too because you can zoom in and out if you're in like a small space. And you can get a really good blurry background with this lens, which a lot of the bloggers like to have because it makes like the subject really in focus. So yeah, I love this one. And my tripod I stole from my dad. I don't really think it's the best. It's actually crappy quality. It breaks all the time and I have to refix it. But I think he probably got it from like Walmart or something. I don't really need a sturdy tripod because I'm not like constantly moving it around. Um, it says that it's the brand S-L-I-K. Watch I say that and it's expensive. But yeah, it gets the job done and I like it because you can make it super high or really low depending on what angle you're looking for. So I just got ready to film my 38 week pregnancy video and I thought I would show you guys my lighting setup. So I already mentioned this in like my blogger series but I still get questions about it so I thought I would um, just mention it. So I have three soft boxes set up. One one pointing on me and two from the sides and I usually don't need that much light if I film with natural lighting I still like to use the soft boxes because I like a really brightened effect in my background um, but I need all three since the backdrop is really dark in my videos although it looks really bright right now but yeah basically I got all of them from Amazon Prime well not from Amazon Prime but they're um, available on Prime so the first set that I got I used for about two years and then one of them broke but I still feel like it's a really good investment because it's not super expensive um, and then I got a second pair so now I just use all three of them and yeah I really like them but I will link them below so you guys can check them out if you're interested but I don't just use these for videos I use them for pretty much all of my pictures that are indoors and product shots and stuff like that it makes such a difference seriously if you don't have the best lighting the apartments kind of darkly lit and we don't have a patio or anything so I need some kind of artificial lighting and also I just think that having artificial lighting um, in your videos and in your pictures they just look a little bit better and yeah, I would recommend it. I just finished my video it took forever because I kept like stumbling over my words um but I'm gonna edit it right now and I usually like to edit right after I film it because if I don't I tend to lose the footage because I have like 16 different SD cards just kidding I probably have like eight um and they're hard to keep track these little cards and I always lose them so I like to just import the footage right away and I think I mentioned a while ago that I was trying to teach myself Final Cut Pro well I kind of gave up on that and I'd rather just spend my time focusing on creating better videos and more videos um, than perfecting the art of editing videos so I literally just edit on iMovie which is annoying because it's not as good but yeah I just don't have the time or energy to teach myself something else right now um, so yeah I just edit on iMovie and it's really easy it takes me like I mean I don't know how long it takes me it still takes me a while but not as long as me trying to cut up my video in Final Cut Pro so yeah I'm gonna do that and then import the footage to YouTube so I just changed. I'm about to film my second video. I finished um, filming my 38 week pregnancy update, which I'm doing a giveaway. So this video is actually going up at the same time that video is going up. So I'm giving away a really cute butterfly mobile for a little girl's nursery. It's so cute. It's handmade. It's like 3D butterflies. And yeah, so I will leave the link to my pregnancy video below to where you guys can enter. So right now I'm gonna film something that is gonna be pre-recorded for when I'm spending time with my baby and I don't have time to upload. So yeah, I don't wanna leave you guys hanging with content because that would just annoy me. So yeah, I'm gonna try and upload videos at least a few times a week and probably not every day like I've been doing once my baby's here because I'm not gonna have any time. And I don't do this stuff every single day. Like other days I'll do my other jobs and my other work but on certain days I dedicate the entire day to YouTube or my blog so today is just a YouTube slash blogging day so I need to move that light because it's turned the wrong way because I had to get around it um, but I wanted to show you guys how I see myself on my computer because I do have like 
a camera that isn't just for video it's also for photography so I basically have to get this cord which I don't know what cord this is Doug bought it but I will link it below if you guys are interested and I plug it in here we downloaded this software to where you can basically adjust everything on your computer so you can press record you can zoom in and out it makes it super easy you can change the frames and yeah you can adjust the lighting and it's really easy so that's what I'm gonna do now and I'm gonna film another video second video down third to go I feel like I'm on a vlogging or not vlogging well vlogging roll too but video making roll today some days I seriously can't stand to do sit down videos because I'm so tired and pregnant a lot of you guys are always saying oh my god I can't believe you're doing all this work pregnant but I mean I don't know why you say that because lots of pregnant women work full-time jobs so yeah but it is a lot more tiring to like set everything up by yourself but some days I have more energy than others in this pregnancy and today is one of those days because after this I think I'm gonna clean the house but I don't want to do too much although my doctor did tell me to walk so that is a lot of walking not really but it's a lot of lifting and stuff so yeah I'm gonna pre-film a video for when the baby comes and maybe do another one or start cleaning so it's 5 30 and I just got done editing um three videos that I filmed and I'm starving. Tonight we're supposed to have curry. He probably is gonna come home and think that there's dinner on the table, but there's not because I'm still sitting here um, editing these videos, which is taking so long. But I still wanna film two more by today. So that's five in one day, which is like the max. I mean, the max is usually two to three, but today I'm just on a roll, so. I just realized I left ice cream out on the coffee table because I'm doing a lifestyle favorites video and my ice cream is included in that video, so whoops but whatever um i also need to wrap presents mom don't look at this because you always watch my vlogs and notice everything but basically my family and i are all getting each other pajamas this year fun stuff but not really so i gotta wrap their pajamas or else i'm gonna forget and yeah probably have the baby on christmas or something and then not get anyone presents doug has to come in through these lights yeah what the hell oh <laughs> One time we had a big box like that and Doug literally hid in it and was like, hey Haley. And I came in the room and I, I was like, was where was he? And then he freaking popped out of the box. <laughs> Doug says, let's get dinner tonight. And I said, no, <laughs> you're making curry. And he was like, no, yeah. don't make me do it. <laughs> I'll make it, it's just, it takes a little bit of time. This is what happens when I don't make dinner. Okay, I'll make it, I'll make it, fine. I'll make my curry. I would say that I didn't hit it, but it's on video that I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. No. Doug was just freaking jumping up and down for in and out. I was just jumping around. And I was like, <laughs> Animal style fries. <laughs> so we're going in and out. Every time he does something crazy, I turn the vlog on and he stops. <laughs> um, I really need to cut my extension. Like, what is going on? What? I need to cut my extensions. Oh. But I, I need better I... scissors, because I'll use in the kitchen scissors. <laughs> I thought it was something I could actually help with. No. no. Woo! All right, so we're in the Golf, which is not the 240. They know this. Apparently not, because people think you drive, you ride in the 240, and you have ridden lower... that thing, and like, nine months since you became pregnant for your information not your information oh. <laughs> i was like what are you gonna tell me that i don't know <laughs> oh it's fogging up over here um last christmas i surprised doug with a 240. yeah and it it wasn't like it was outside with a bow on it no because there's no way i would know how to pick one but he would never have bought one himself nope never would have so that's what amazing. happened it for last year's Christmas present. Literally the best Christmas present I've ever had. And this year, we're getting each other pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> last year, he got a car. Remember last year, Doug told me that a sure tail sign of a good woman is if she leans over and unlocks the door for okay, the man. Okay, we've talked about this on the, on the No, floor. we haven't. I thought we have. No. Well, that is a sure, uh, uh, yeah, Which sure is, tail sign. Which yeah, is if you're like living in, yeah, if you're living in the 50s and they don't have automatic unlocks. See, yeah, I know. Or the 90s. See, now people don't ever like even open the door for their, for their Yeah, because you just other. go click, click. Yeah. But. My, my dad still does it. Because my car, you have to manually unlock. It looks like I'm a gentleman every time. But also, 
because like when I go to work or when I go to work meetings and I drive people in this car for some reason they want to go in my car yeah um, I unlock the door and they're like oh you're such a gentleman and I'm just like not really <laughs> <laughs> I have to <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much I mean, no strawberry shake, my bad. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What can I eat today? Uh, can I get a number one, please? Sure, we'll check on you. Uh, I'll have the burger animal style. Sure. What kind of drink can I get you? Uh, the lemonade, pink lemonade. All right, that'd be all for you today? What no. are you gonna have? Can I have the number two? You yeah. got it. Oh, let me for the car? Uh, to go. All right, so it's gonna be sixteen ninety first window, please. All right, thank you. You're welcome, have a good one. You too. So this is my first time getting animal style fries. We went all out. And that's what they look like, cheese and sauce and onions. We're watching Cutthroat Kitchen. Doug's favorite person in the world is Alton Brown. I don't know why. <laughs> He's so cool. But he cool. And I got a cheeseburger. Yum. So I'm already really full. Ate too much. I'll be talking about food every single vlog. I know. <laughs> every damn time. What else am I supposed to talk about in my third trimester? I don't know. We're gonna see. Do you know that song that's I think it's my journey. It's like when the lights go down in the sky. Okay. <laughs> I read some or uh, Doug. I read one of the funniest comments. Well, this is a while ago, but somebody was like, um, let me turn this light on. Somebody was like, we should make or I should make a t-shirt that says, huh, Doug? And I was like, what does that mean, Doug? I don't know, we were sitting there like we were trying to figure huh, it out. Doug? Uh, I was like, I was like huh, Doug? That, what a weird thing to say. And then I realized what she meant. Because I always say things like, hey, does this taste good? Huh, Doug? <laughs> I say that all the time. You do. I say a lot of things that I don't realize. And then you guys quote me and I'm like, what are they saying? I don't say that. <laughs> and then I'll edit the vlog and be like, oh, gosh. shit, I do say that. <laughs> yeah. Doug was just about to tell me about some kind of trap. So this is the trap that Haley puts out. Yeah. So Haley says, "Oh, Doug, you have time. You can, you can, you know, play some games. You can work on your car. You can do what you want." And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, that sounds good." So then we come over here after we eat dinner. We watch a show or something, and then all of a sudden we're watching two shows, and then all of a sudden it's three shows, and we're laying here in pajamas, and then we're asleep because it's like ten o'clock. And I don't have any time to do the stuff I wanted to. Well, I'm just really like laying on my side. What What are you vlogging right now? <laughs> <laughs> Me laying on my side. <laughs> yeah, this happens every night. Every single night. And then she blames Food it on coma. me. No, and then she blames it on me. Like, you could have gotten up and done games or your car whenever you wanted. But we already know that's not the case. Happy wife, happy life. The truth. It hasn't always been this way, just during the pregnancy. I was telling Doug yesterday that I don't even remember what life was like before pregnancy. Do you? Yeah, I remember all of it. What did we do back then? <laughs> the same thing we do now. No. No, we used to go out and do more stuff. Like what? I don't know, we'd go out and eat food at different places. We just did that. No, we'd go to like, actually go to places. Yeah. Or we'd go drive to like parks. Drive We'd to go parks. see movies. We'd go take pictures in lots of places. Yeah, we used to do my vlog a lot more. Yeah. Oh, no. And then I got sick. Forever. Deathly sick. And then I got fat. Forever. And then I got tired. <laughs> Everybody's asking who my celebrity crush is after they... <laughs> 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 Who's mine? Um, I used to be obsessed with Edward Cullen back in high school. And now I'm like, why? Why? Just I die. was like a twi twi hard. A twi hard? <laughs> what the? <f> <laughs> yeah. Me and my friend Kelsey loved Twilight. We wanted. Well, first off, you guys know why I would like it because I like the rain, and it's in Forks, Washington. Doug doesn't know anything about it. It's in Forks, Washington, which is apparently one of the rainiest places in America. Mm -hmm. So Doug and I were just sitting here forever trying to think of my celebrity crush, and there's two. Um, I mean, I'm not like that obsessed, but yeah, I like the guy from my best friend's wedding, which is like an older, well, he is an older guy and it's an older movie. This guy? Yeah, I know he's old now, but he looked good then. Well, he's fucking 53 now. <laughs> so how long ago was that movie? I don't know. 
was like the 80s or 99. 97. 97. Um, and then the other one, can you look up He's Just Not That Into You? Colin Egglesfield? Yes, found it. It's from the movie Something Borrowed. Okay, he's he's so old too. <laughs> oh my god. No, but click on him in the movie. His name is Colin Egglesfield. He was really good looking in that movie, but now not so much. I mean, now he's much older.